everybody and welcome back to Dragon Wing Diamonds and I apologize for the sound in the background zero dating is dinner um, but here I am uh, today with a wrap up um, our weekly wrap our bleh, weekly wrap up um, so uh, right weekly check-in sorry I will remember the name of the segment at some point it is our um, weekly whip check-in sorry oh my goodness so anyways um, every week I since I am a faster diamond painter <laughs> little puppy to toes um since i am a faster diamond painter i thought these weekly videos would be a good way to kind of like get insight into what i do in a week and stuff okay everybody okay sorry okay <laughs> hopefully i can collect my thoughts now um Sorry, all my animals decided chaos is like in it for right now. Okay, so um, basically, yeah, I'm a fast diamond painter. So this kind of gives you kind of insight into like how I work, what I work on, yada, yada, yada. Um, right now, it's kind of, it's probably not as exciting as it will be in later months because I am just basically doing one kit at a time right now and seeing how many of my Halloween kits I can push through. But yeah, so here we are. We are here with our first one. As you can tell, it is finished. <laughs> I actually finished this one earlier today, which is Sunday, because I basically filmed the Sunday night. Um, and where we were last week, I was down in like the first two rows here. This kit was so amazing to work on. This was color blocking heaven, um, and it just looks so great. And I love the colors. Like I love how um, Mrs. Butter's works always have like a certain color palette with it and just like it just it makes me so happy So the fact that this one was like more reds was just absolutely phenomenal. I loved every minute of it um, The fairy dust were perfect placements and even the ABs are perfect placements because I think for the most part the ABs are just reflection um, There wasn't too many ABs to place so I'm gonna get her up close and we're gonna touch on a few things. So I finished up at the top here earlier. And as you can see, that is all color blocking. Um, I think these stars are probably my favorite part of it. Look at that. So those all have fairy dust in there. I don't know if it's gonna catch in the camera. And then the hat is just absolutely stunning. Ooh, having a rough time. Um, her hair, all the white in her hair is fairy dust. These flowers are so weird and cute. I love it. And as you can see here, this was, oh gosh, I'm having a hard time. Okay, so see there, that's great gradient there. I love it. And those are fairy dust in there as well. And yeah, I, I need a mug like that for real life. And yeah, I love it. Absolutely amazing. Um, it absolutely stunning. I, I love it. But anyways, I'll get more into detail on that when I actually do my, my wrap up for this one. So yeah, like I said, last week I was on the first couple rows managed to push through and finish it. And like I said, I finished it today. Um, so yeah. So since I finished that today, I did get to start in on my next kit, which you know, it's gonna be like a blast from the past here. We have this one. This is from DIY Moon Shop. <laughs> That's what I mean by blast from the past. Um, so yeah, I just started this one. I did this one section after dinner, basically. Oh yeah, just look fine in the camera. I am a little concerned, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I am a little concerned about this one because it is so small and there are some fine, finer details in here. So I'm concerned that some of that is going to get lost. Um, but I'm going to trust the process. And I mean, I didn't realize I was working on a book until I looked at the picture and I was like, oh, um, but standing farther away and looking through the camera, I can see it does look like a book. So I'm having a little bit better faith in that. So this kit was also... Um, well, so yeah, this kit came out from DIY Moon Shop back in, or well, I don't know when it came out, but I purchased it back in 2021. Um, so yeah, this was before, before they changed all the rendering styles around, because um, uh, I know like last year they had some pretty questionable renderings, especially in faces and stuff. Um, yeah, so I purchased that prior to all this happening. Um, but when I did purchase it, um, they would swap in AB310 for like all the black. So thankfully they do send regular 310 along with it as well. So um, I am not using the AB310 in this. I am just going to use the regular black in it, the regular 310, because honestly, I don't think it would look very good with random AB in the, the black spots. I don't think it'll look very good. So, so yeah, there we go. 
We just started this one tonight though, so I am looking forward to working on it more. It didn't really take me too long to do this little section, even though it was confetti heavy. And this is all alphanumeric uh, symbols as well. So that part is kind of, kind of eh, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I got through the first section okay, and I was smart in kidding up because I did put them in alphabetical and numerical order. So that makes it a little easier. But yeah, so yeah, this, was a, this one's a round. So now I'm on my round painting because I've been kind of alternating square, round, square, round. And I do have my next square kit up, um, but we'll probably talk about, well, no, I can talk about that one in this one. Um, yeah, I can do that. So let's do that. So just bear with me while I pull it down because I did not pre-prepare for that. Um, yeah, I basically just hang them up with hangers. <laughs> okay, so the next square I will be working on, and I just finished, or got it kit up earlier, is gonna be Trick or Treat by Ann Stokes. I am very much looking forward to working on this one because I remember uh, Katie did this one last year and it turned out so adorable and I'm so glad I saved mine for this year because it is I did manage to have perfect dragons for fall and Halloween so very excited about that but once October 1st hits this one is going to be on my radar on working on um, I don't know if I'll start it exactly in the first because it's really going to depend on where I am on that kit um, because I, I, mean, I know I have all tomorrow, so who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow? But I am really looking forward to this one. The background, I'm probably gonna plan on doing the background first because it's all 310 basically. And then I will save like the dragon and the pumpkin for last. So I might do the leaves in the background first so that way I have a little bit of color in there. But yeah, that's my plan for tackling this one. Very excited about it though. It's so cute. <laughs> and I can't wait to see it completed in person. Okay. Okay, and then last but not least, we have our weekly ch check-ins on these guys. Once again, didn't really do any progress on this one yet. I'll get there. <laughs> Probably will happen like sometime in October for sure. Um, oh, I got kitty furs. What happens when Artemis keeps climbing on stuff? But yeah, once again, Dragon Seasons by Emma Casey and Neighbors Outpost. This one has not gotten any headway yet, but it will. I promise you it will. And then... Come on. Oh, we just dumped napkins all over the floor. Oh, we'll deal with that later. Okay, so here we are, back to the cross-stitch conversions again. And this week I did not get any progress done on these ones. I was mostly focused on that Mrs. Buttered painting. Um, and I was doing more stuff with my husband this week too. Um, so, oh, and my friends too. So yeah, kind of got, had a lot going on this week. So I didn't really get a chance to dive into this one anymore. Um, I am hoping before the end of October, I'll get a good chance. Don't you think about it, mister. Um, yeah. Hopefully by the end of October, I have a chance to work on the last two rows to get myself caught up on each one. So yeah, there we go. That is this week's uh, wrap up. I realize now I'm having like a finished painting in each one. Really? <laughs> it's so weird. Um, which is like pretty impressive, but that's what happens when I just like solely focus on a painting instead of uh, having like, cause usually I work on multiples at once, but this time, I, this time around I've just been kind of focusing one and getting it down. So yeah, there we have it for this week. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll catch you guys next week for the, uh, the next check-in. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and throw me a comment, let me know. Um, uh, <laughs> brain, <laughs> let me know what you think of the kit's eye. And working on, worked on. What do you think of that that DIY moon shop kit? Do you think it's going to turn out good? I'm curious. And if you're not already subscribed here and you like diamond painting content, please hit that subscribe button down there. And then hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. I generally post videos on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Sundays. And you never know when there will be another one at random. So definitely hit that bell to be notified. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.